Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Spring and today we're back with a Muay Thai class. We have five rounds of shadow boxing combination work. We're gonna go through about three to five strikes in each combo. What I want you guys to do is focus on getting that flow through the combination, keeping your balance and feeling solid through all the strikes. Um, after the round, we're gonna go through 10 of the combos together. So I'll count it out like one, just say jab, cross, hook. We'll do it together, back to your rhythm. Two, go again. And then after that, we'll go five strong push-ups and we'll move into the next round. I'm really warm and sweaty from class. Um, so make sure you guys are warm, pause the video if you need to, do some stretches, get your heart rate up a little bit before we get started. And then when you're ready, join me back again. Let's get started with the first combination. All right guys, first round, nice and simple. We're gonna start with just your jab cross, up, hook angle. And then from there, roundhouse kick, okay, with the rear side. So what I wanna see is, again, from your Muay Thai stance, jab, cross, with the hook, step off with your lead leg, step and hook, create that space and the angle, go in for your rear roundhouse kick. All right, I'm gonna start the timer and let's go through this. You got two minutes to work this out by yourself, in your space, work at a pace that you can keep balanced. Make sure you're stepping your feet correctly, you're not angling off and crossing your feet. So work all that out with two minutes. At the end of the round, I'm gonna call it out. So we'll call it out one. We'll do it together nice and quick, all right? So we're gonna set the timer, let's get started. All right guys, going in three seconds. And let's go. So slow, fast, jab, cross, step with the lead, swing into the rear kick, and then reset. Whatever space you have at home, just use that space. Visualize someone in front of you. You're stepping for your jab, cross, hooking out, going for your kick. Again, move. Make sure you're breathing with your strikes, guys. Exhale with each strike. If you're new to Muay Thai and you're kind of shy about like making a sound, just make a little exhale, like. Just a little one, yeah? And then slowly, you're built to having your own sound when you're hitting pads. Reset. Again. Again, just nice and fluid. Today's focus in class. Good flow. Move around. Rhythm in between. Make sure you're moving your feet. You're not staying static after your combos. That wasn't angled enough. We're going to step out a little bit more. As I catch my back foot, guys, after that hook, I catch the back foot and try and push off the ground as quick as you can. All right? Make sure your hands are coming back to your head with your punches. So every punch, one hand should be touching your face. Move off. Kick, and reset. 30 seconds left. Keep your rhythm, stay relaxed. Under 10 seconds. Last one. And time. All right, guys. So we're going to go into 10 together now. So pick up the speed a little bit, right? Should have been nice and familiar with the combination now. So keep your stance. I'm going to count it out. And we'll do that 10 reps together. So do the full combo as quick as you can. Reset your feet. And then find your balance. We'll go again, OK? I'll just make sure this doesn't fall off. OK. In your stance, guys, let's go. One. And reset. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep your feet moving. Eight, two more, nine, last one, best one, ten. All right, okay, five good push-ups, guys. If you can't do full push-ups, do them on your knees. We're only doing five, so make sure they're good ones, all right? Let's go, five good ones. Actually, we'll do it together. Everyone in push-up position, and one, two, Three, four, 
five. Okay, next combo. All right, guys, let's move on. Second combination. So we're gonna start with a rear check this time. Rear check for the roundhouse kick. So bring the knee to the inside of the elbow. Nice and stable here. When you land, straight into a lead push kick. Okay, again, check, land, T. All right, so that's your first two. Again, check, land, T. Now we're gonna use that T to fake hop forward, right? And I've covered distance forward. So from the side, check, land, push kick, fake, enter in, okay? From that fake enter in, pop, we're gonna go into rear elbow, rear up elbow, skip, rear knee. Okay, all again. Follow along, check, land, tip, relax, fake, hover distance, up elbow, skip knee, and land back into your stance. I'll start the timer, two minutes, work it out, make sure it's super fluid, and we'll go through 10, 10 reps together. 30 seconds, guys, slowly to begin with. Rear check first, timer on, check, tip. From here, fake the tip. You're going to up elbow, skip knee, come back. From the side, check, strong, land. You're flat footed after that landing, so check, flat footed, tip. Fake up, twist into your up elbow, skip, to drive power into the knee, okay? So from this side, again, strong check, flat foot, push kick, land. Hop forward to that back leg, go into your up elbow, skip knee, and back. Just be careful with that skip knee. After your up elbow, you're not stepping to the center line and trying to drive the knee in. Up elbow, leg goes outside my opponent's stance and drives up to the knee, okay? Let's go. Find that flow now, check, deep, fake. Elbow, knee, and back. Really push the hip forward for your knee and pull the shoulder back. Back to your timing stance. Let's go guys, halfway. Deep, fake, elbow, knee, move. As I'm kneeing, opposite hand is tight. Lean back, drive up into my calves, all right? Again, strong check. Imagine it's a body kick, you're covering distance. Elbow, knee. Yes. When you cover distance, guys, make sure that foot nice and high with the knee coming up, okay? Keep your breathing. Nice and controlled, check deep, fake, elbow, knee, and then move back into your rhythm. 20 seconds, guys, check deep, fake, elbow, knee, move. Last one, guys, five seconds left, finish your combo. Tip. And relax. Okay, so we've got 10 reps together. Everyone find your stance. Keep relaxing between. Do your best. Nice and fluid. Don't forget your hands. Make sure you come back to your head. They're not flailing everywhere. 10 reps together. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. One. Reset. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Pass halfway, guys. Keep it up. Seven. Don't get slack on the small details. Eight. Nine. Last one. 10. Okay, five push ups. Let's do it together. Good job. I want you guys to try to at least do a few in the full push-up position before moving to your knees, okay? All right, everyone push-up position. Let's go five together. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, let's move on. Combo number three. All right, guys, combo number three. Let's get into it. So let's start with um, nice and fluid, some more hands this time. So I want to see a jab, bop. I'm going to go for a cross. This time, I'm going to go for a body rip. Boom, this way. See, three strikes. So one, two, body. After you go for the body rip, right, I want you guys to come up, same hand, uppercut. And then if you know what I'm talking about, visualize pulling the guy down and coming over with like a crossing elbow. If you don't know what I'm talking about, after the uppercut, just step forward, horizontal elbow, okay? So from the start, one, two, get yourself in a position to hit to the body, step across, reset, upper, reach, pull, step forward for the elbow. Make sure you cover distance for the elbow. One more time. So one, two, body, upper, reach, come in for the elbow, okay? If you want to, you can reach, step off a little bit to the side, and then move forward as well, up to you. But combination-wise, it's jab, cross, rip, uppercut, control the arms, pull it down, and then elbow over the top. Okay, set the timer. All right, everyone get ready. Five seconds, guys. And let's go. Combo, jab, cross, rip, uppercut, pull the guard, Elbow over the top. As you come in for the elbow, guys, make sure you're burrowing your head down. You're not looking over the top and trying to elbow, okay? Keep it up. One, two, rip, upper, pull down, elbow. Just think about grabbing with your gloves, hooking someone's gloves down, making space, and coming over the top in that space of the elbow. Okay, move around. Make sure you're moving your feet, guys. Every punch, there's a step or a hip movement. Control, step forward. I want you guys to check as well after the elbow. You're not feeling like you're falling too far forward, right? Control, elbow, you should still have weight in both your feet. Hey, let's go. We're halfway. Forward body rip, guys. You're hitting two. Side of the body over here. Bop. Palm up. Hit through. Kind of recoil back into the left hip or the lead side. Uppercut. Pull the guard. Elbow over the top. 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds. One more, guys. Okay, let's do 10 reps together. Everyone find your stance. One. So moving forward, even though you sped it up. Two. Three. Five, six, bring your hand back after the elbow, good guard, seven, eight, two more guys, nine, Last one, 10. Okay, push-ups. In your push-up position, let's do it together. Five good ones. Everyone up. One, two, three, four, five. Nice work, guys. Okay, two more rounds. All right, guys, round four. Doing well, everyone, two more rounds to go. All right, let's work some knees this time. So I want you guys to set it up with your lead push kick this time. So you're finding a distance. We're actually going to teep twice. So we're going to teep to someone's thigh. Boom, straight away, teep to the body, okay? So again, they're aggressing forward, teep to the leg, teep to the body. Take a little bit of like a backward step, right? After the two teeps. One, two, bop, 
Bob, as we move in to your space, switch knee. Okay? And again. So, lead tip to the thigh, balance to the body, draw them in. As you cover that distance, break into your space, go into your switch knee. From the side, one more time. Tip to the thigh, tip to the body, draw them in, draw them in. Keep your posture a little bit forward, so you don't want to kind of go backwards, leaning away. So we're here, we're here. They cover distance, reach out with my lead hand, bum, drive the knee through. That's all, just three strikes, okay? I want you guys to keep your balance and keep good fluidity and have that visualization of someone, bum, trying to hold them away. They're coming at you and you're drawing them to the switch knee. Um, you can, like, after you switch knee, practice going into like a push if you want to. Yeah, let's do a push. So we're gonna go switch knee, bum, we're gonna push them away. Yeah, just push the chest, palm, nice and strong. Or let's say in a real fight, lock into the clinch, continue on with elbows and more knees, okay? So I'll set the timer, let's go together. Five seconds to go. On your distance, I'll come forward a bit so there's a bit more backward space. Okay, tip to the thigh, bum, straight to the body, bum. Draw them in, draw them in, knee, bum, land forward and push, okay? From the side again. So you want to kind of stay in the shortest stance with this one so that you can tip, bump, and tip easily. If I'm too wide, I find it really hard to push kick. So narrow stance, tip to the thigh, tip to the body. They're still aggressing forward. We move back, stay relaxed, drive the knee up, and then shove them forward, okay? Straight down with the lead side. I like to kind of bring this other hand here to protect me from swinging arms. But you guys can either keep it here or cross over, up to you. Okay, let's try that again. Balance. Tip, tip, back, back, drive up, push, and then reset. You've got your distance again. Find your stance. Okay. Tip, bum, bum, back, back, drive, push. With the knee, guys, if you look at my feet, I don't want to switch too narrow. Yeah, we covered that in the basic class before this. Switch nice and wide, okay? even though you're under pressure. So again, tip one, tip two, back, back, switch wide, bum, drive, push, okay? Really push your hip forward for the knee. 40 seconds to go, guys. Tip, tip, bum, chop, bum, push. Use that drop after the switch, bum, drop forward, and then shove them. 30 seconds. Bum. Something I've been working on, guys, in my knees, trying to pull my shoulder back a little bit more so I get a little bit more extension through my hip. Maybe think about that when you guys are practicing your knees as well. Let's try a couple more. Five seconds, let's finish one more combo. Deep, deep, back, drive through, shove. Okay. 10 reps together, make sure the space behind you for that backwards. There's no right or wrong on how many times you guys step backwards, right? But just keep in mind that they're crossing your distance and moving into your knee range, okay? All right, let's do it together. Everyone find your stance. One. Two. Move around. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nice and sharp with the push kick. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Nice work, guys. Okay, push ups. Almost there, guys. One more round after this. It's so bright, like the glare coming through the window. It's hard to look at the camera. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 
One more round. Last combo for today. Again, I want you to visualize someone's coming at you and you're gonna try and hold them off with like a long, kind of like a fluff jab, okay? So they're coming at you, we're going long, long with the jab. Now, you're still keeping really stable through your feet, not letting them push you off balance. They're just aggressing forward with the jab. From there, I've caught my foot in the back foot. I throw my cross to kind of like break the momentum, reverse it around so that I'm now creating pressure onto them. From there, switch kick, pop, and chase forward, okay? So again, visualizing someone's coming forward, using that jab, stick it out, stick it out, stick it out. Any number of times you want to do is fine. As long as you're catching your rear foot, so climbing back, back, catch, throw forward. So strong with the cross, pop, switch kick. With the switch kick, if they've moved out of your range, so from the cross, bum, if they're too far away and they've reacted too much, right? You can also come in for a step up kick after. So as I go back, I can throw across, step, kick. Okay, so two variations for you guys to work on. So again, from the start, they're coming forward into your space. You're putting that long jab out just as a deterrent, but you're actually ready to catch your back foot. Bum, bum, throw power, cross. From there, step up kick or cross, switch kick. Okay, so lead, roundhouse kick to finish. Okay, let me set the timer. We've got two minutes. Okay, five seconds, guys. Last combo round. Oh, I'm really sweating now. Okay, let's go, timer on. Back, back with that jab, keeping that bay. Catch and throw, switch kick. Okay, so from the side, bump, 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 or step up kick. So, up to you guys. Mix it around, reset, bump, someone's covering your distance. Jab, jab, throw, boom. Yeah, so as I throw, I catch in the back foot, bump, and push off, come forward again, okay? Again, jab, jab, bump. Try and flow between the cross and the switch kick, visualizing that they're here, they pretty much walk into your cross, or you're going to stun them with the cross, and then move into the body kick, all right? So the more damaging weapon. Up, bump, 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 bump. Swing all the way through, or your kicks and your shadowing, trying to control the hip too much, swing it all the way through, okay? Last minute, guys. Keep it up. Hop. Find that nice flow, backwards, back into forward. Reverse momentum. Bop, bop, bop. Thirty seconds. Last 20. One more, guys. Work through the timer. Okay, 10 reps together. Everyone find your space. Okay, let's go. One. Two. Up. Up. Three. Up. 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 Four. Up. Up. Five. Up. Up. Halfway. Six. Up. Up. Seven. Up, up. Eight. Up, up. Two more guys, nice and fluid. Nine. Up, up. Last one. Best one. Ten. Up, up. Woo. Nice work, guys. Five push ups. Let's do it. Last set, guys. If you haven't been trying them in that full push up position, Last set, let's all try together. Catch my breath. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Woo. Nice work, guys. Let me come closer. Whew. 
nice and sweaty, guys. Well done. It's actually really warm here in Melbourne, but I kind of started the day in a long sleeve and I stayed in one and now I fully regret it. Um, good job. Hope you guys enjoyed that class. Nice, short and sweet class. Obviously still really good workout, but the focus is finding that flow through your combinations and remembering all the little details, hands going back to your head, keeping your balance, swinging all the way through your strikes and trying to flow nice and fluid, just like how you would inspiring. Yep. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.